Hey guys, myself Ankita. In this video, we shall see another problem on Lenku. Kids with the greatest number of candies. There are n kids with candies. We are given an integer array candies where each candies of i represent the number of candies i kid has. So each position i kid. This value represents the number of candies that the very first kid has, second, third, fourth, fifth kid has. And an integer extra candies is denoting the number of extra candies that you have. So, return boolean array result of length n, where result of i is true if given i kid all the extra candies, and they will have the greatest number of candies among all the kids, or false otherwise. Note that the multiple kids can have the greatest number of candies. So, what they have told is, you have to return an array or boolean array of called result n that should be of the uh, same length as candies. And the result in each position, result in of i, result of i, that is true if after giving i to get all the extra candies, like for the first position, we give all the extra candies, like 2 plus 3, 5 candies with the total, right? They will have the greatest number of candies among all the kids or false otherwise. So if you uh, give now, let's say, 2, comma, 3, comma, 5, comma, 1, comma, 3. And extra candies number of extra candies three, right? So for the first kid, if you give extra three candies, it will have two plus three five. So this five is greatest of all the candies, right? You could see the greatest number here is five. Yeah, this is greatest of all the kids. That is what they have told. So the number of candies among all the kids, if they have the greatest number of candies among all the kids, or false otherwise, yeah, they have greatest. Number. This kid has greatest number of all the kids among all other kids having the candies. Then come to the second uh, kid. If 3 plus 3, it will be 6. And then you compare here, 5 is the maximum. It has 6. So 6 is of course greater than 5. Yeah, it, even this has also the greatest number of candies. So even this is true and this is true. Then coming to 5. So 5 plus 3, 8 it would be. 8 is maximum of all because 5 is the maximum. 8 is greater than 5. Yeah, even this is also true. Then coming to this kid, 1 plus 3, 4. So is this greatest of all the kids having the candies? Two, yeah, it is greater than two, it is greater than three, but it is not greater than five. So it doesn't have greatest of greatest of candies among all the kids. So that's why it will become false. Because five is a maximum and it has four only. It should have at least five to be to be the greatest of among all the kids. Next three plus three, six. Yes, again it is the greatest among all the kids because five is the maximum and it has six. So this will be true. And this should be the resultant array. It should be stored in the resultant array. Result, result. As a list. List boolean. We have put zero as a list. It should be stored in the array list. Named as result. So note that multiple kids have the greatest number of candies. That we have seen, right? Multiple kids having the greatest number of candies. First, second, third, and uh, fifth are having, except fourth, all are having greatest number, number of candies. So, what's the approach to solve this problem? Is at first, you should find the maximum element in the array. Why maximum element? Then, for the next iteration, uh, you compare each uh, element plus the candies, extra candies. If that is greater than or equal to this maximum element, if greater than or equal to maximum, element, then yeah, it is having the greatest uh, candies among all the kids. So, that's the approach to solve this problem. Uh, we have to initialize a array list uh, of type boolean. That should be of type boolean. Means it should contain the elements as boolean. So, so what it will have is a list boolean called as result in result, as I have told in the question, it should be a result. So that is equal to new. Array list. Then you run the for loop and find maximum element and store it in the variable called max. Then again run the for loop. At this time, candies of i, this is the candies array, right? Candies are. This is result. If so, if candies of i, whatever you have, plus extra candies, that is this. So 2 plus 3, 5 extra candies. If that is greater than or equal to max, 
So in this case, five is greater than or equal to max. Eight is equal to max. Six is greater than max. Eight is greater than max. Four is less than max. So this condition will become false. If it is greater than or equal to four or max, then you add that to the resultant term. So uh, result dot add of result dot add of true. If this condition doesn't happen, then you add false. This is else. Result dot add of same thing as false. So at last you return the result. A list. So as I said, at first we need to initialize the clarity list array list. So list boolean result. Named as result. Why result? Because we have so told a uh, return a boolean array result, which will be a result of length n equal to new array list after this in max equal to initialize it to the very first element of candidates of zero. So now learn the for loop to find the maximum element in the array first. So for int i equal to 0, i lesser than candies dot length and i plus plus. If candies of i is greater than candies of i minus 1. So as we initialize max equal to candies of 0, this for loop should start from 1. If candies of i is greater than, greater than candies of i minus 1, i minus 1, so if that is a condition, that means if 3 is greater than 5, then max will be 3, right? So max equal to candies of i. So this will this for loop will give you the maximum uh, element present in the array. Now after this run again, again run the for loop for int i equal to 0, i lesser than candies dot length. And I plus plus. This time I have to check if candies of I plus extra candies. Like we have to give the extra candies, right? After giving I to get all extra candies. So if candies of I plus extra candies, so we'll have one more time. Okay. There is greater than or equal to max. Then result dot add of two. Else result dot add of false. So at last return the result. Return result. We will run this. Okay, so this should be capital L and here it should be capital B or I. And here also it should be capital L. And I put the value. Okay, this should be actually max, not candies of I minus. Now we should run. You compare it with the max, right? If that is greater than max only, you initialize max equal to candies of i. Yeah. Now we will submit this. Now it's been successfully submitted. If you have any errors, please drop it in the comment section. We will come up with another video in the next session. Until then, support to the channel and keep running. Thank you.